to do is your boy MC. It's time to get those sales up. You already know. Today I'm gonna hook y'all up with a little strategy I use for you know mainly artists. So I know you you should know by now that some of them come across come across as cheap. Like yo, hook me up, hook me up. Like you know that's just part of this whole rap culture. So I developed something slick to get around that. So let's say you tell a art. So let's say you tell an artist, hey. I sold my beats for thirty dollars. To them, they'd be like, "Yo, man, yo, man, can you lower that?" Or you know, they try to look for a deal. So what I do is, I say my prices are higher from the get go. So then when I tell them that my beats are thirty dollars, it's gonna come across as a steal. So what I do is, I say, "Hey, I sell my beats for ninety dollars non-exclusive, but for you, I can hook you up for thirty. You see what I did there? The original price is already thirty dollars." But since they're comparing it to the $90, that's what gonna come off as a steal. You, you, you gotta make it sound sweet like, yo, man, man, look, I, I sell my beats for $90, but for you, I like you, man, I hook you up for $30. That's three beats. And I, I give you a free beat with that. So really, you, you, you're doing the buy one, get one free, you know, with a $30 beat. So the beat, you, you're making $30, but you're giving them a value of 90. And that's when you're going to sell a value of a price, but that's a whole different video. But this is a strategy I use. It's called price anchoring, so you can Google that. It's great for producers to use against artists, or really in any situation when it comes to selling. It will make the pricing more valuable. So the trick is to give them a high number first, but tell them like, yo, I'll hook you up with a cheaper price. So, you know, back to the example, you tell them that your beats normally go for $90, but tell them, yo, I will hook you up for $30. So don't be like, yo, wow, that's a that's a bargain, that's a sale. Just like when I go to Macy's or JCPenney, buy my clothes, my pants were already $35. What they did, they had a sign that said $70, but it was on sale for 30. So I wound up buying two, which is $60 plus tax, which is still damn near 70 in the first place. But that's just a trick called price anchoring. I like to call it hook me up when I'm dealing with artists, but that's something you should try. Tell me how it works. Go build up, mm, huh. <laughs> go build some relationships and get back at me. Y'all know the drill. Like, subscribe, and share. Send it to your friends. Holla at me anytime. Peace.